Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Prime Minister and Jamaica Labour Party leader Andrew Holness is urging Jamaicans not to give up hope because Jamaica is leaving the wilderness he claims the opposition PNP left Jamaica in. We are marching out of the wilderness. We have now shown that we can get your children employed. We have shown that we can pay down the national debt. A motorist perished in the Bogwa Gorgians and Catherine on Sunday after the vehicle he was driving reportedly drifted off the flat bridge and plunged into the Rio Cobre. The deceased has been identified as 72-year-old Glenford Henklewood from Cumberland in Portmouth and Catherine. Kingston Wharves Limited suspended operations for Monday following a bomb threat at the wharf. It follows similar disruptions in public schools and other public facilities last Thursday and Friday. A suspect is in custody. Governance watchdog National Integrity Action is calling for a reversal of the decision by House Speaker Juliet Holness to end the practice of tabling all Integrity Commission reports upon their submission to Parliament. Last week, Tuesday, Mrs. Holness implemented a new rule which mandates that special and annual reports of the Commission will go to its Oversight Committee for Deliberations first and then tabled later with the Committee's own report. In sports, co-coach of the Sunshine Girls netball team, Sean Murdoch, has praised the players after they finished fifth at the Fast Five World Series tournament, which ended Sunday at the Christchurch Arena in New Zealand. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $156.66, the British pound sterling for $193.86, and the Canadian dollar for $115.92. In your other forecast, Tuesday will be mainly fair. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on X, formerly Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.